Today, we're tying the new keg. Hey everyone, Matt here with The Northern Angler. We're a small, independent fly shop located in Traverse City, Michigan. You can find all the materials you need and lots more at thenorthernangler.com. All right, there are a lot of egg patterns out there, but the new keg is one of my favorites. It's quick and easy to tie so you can easily reload your box before heading to the river. By mixing sizes and color schemes, you can adapt this fly to different water conditions and light levels. Let's go ahead and take a look at the materials we'll be using today. For the hook, we'll be using a Gamagatsu C14S. This is a very reliable egg hook that can handle salmon and big steelhead. We'll be tying on a size eight, which is about as big as I'll go on this hook. If you want, you can go down to a size 10 or 12 when conditions get tough. For thread, I like Uni 6 Ot and Fire Orange. If you can, pick a contrasting color that looks good with your color scheme. The core or nucleus of this fly is made of McFly foam. This is a stretchy, yarn-like material, perfect for glow bugs and the basis for this fly. We'll be using the standard steelhead orange color. For a veil, we'll use standard egg yarn from the bug shop. This is a nice soft yarn with minimal stretch. The color here is Oregon cheese, a light yellow that will let the darker core show through when wet. To get the full material list, check out the link in the description. There, you'll find a full write-up on this fly and tons of other great information. First, place your hook securely in the vise. From there, we're gonna start the thread right at the eye. We're gonna wrap back to the hook point. Here, you're looking for that thread to intersect with the point of the hook. Wrap your thread back towards the eye, and we're looking to stop about the 50%, that halfway mark right in that thread base. Grab your core material. This is McFly foam. It's stretchy stuff, easy to work with. Lay this on top of the shank. We'll put about three wraps there, one behind, one and two in front. And to trim this, I need to stretch it. So I'm gonna pull straight up and I'm gonna try and trim this about the exact same distance as the gap between the point and the shank. And you can always err on the side of less with this part of the fly and it should be fine. All right, here I'm gonna advance my thread to right up by the eye. It doesn't have to be butted right up against. Grab your egg yarn. This stuff does not stretch, but is very, very effective as a veil material to make this egg core look realistic. It's easy stuff to pull apart. I got two separate strands. I pulled apart there from that main chunk. And I'm gonna just try and remove any extra random fluff. And then I'm gonna combine these together. You can comb these, you can brush them, you can just ignore them, it doesn't matter, it's totally up to you. But the thing to do is to trim this flush. That is gonna be a big help because we wanna take the core of these two egg chunks egg yarn chunks and insert them right into the eye. And I want it to butt up against that McFly foam. I'm gonna take three very loose gathering wraps before I add tension. Take a look, looks pretty good. Add three more. And here we're gonna trim your egg yarn. And the goal is to get it about the same length as the shank of this C14S or whatever egg hook you're using. Here, air on the side of longer. <laughs> it's no fun to see those short, stubby nuke eggs. Here, you can do a few things. You can preen this back with your fingers. I typically just grab a piece of an old pen here, the body of an old pen. Just makes that process so much quicker. I'm gonna use my thumbnail and work this back just a little bit because I want to expose a bit of shank before I tie this off. Here, if you're picky about it, you can comb it out, make it look nice and uniform. That one ended up pretty decent. And here I'm just gonna grab my whip finish tool, put about four or five turns in there, and that's 
really nice and secure. If you want a really durable egg, you certainly don't need one. Throw a little bit of UV epoxy in here. This is Loon's Flow. And we're gonna hit it with the light. Cure that up. There we go. That's it. Like I said, a pretty quick and easy fly that can be extremely effective when fish are targeting eggs. Now the color combinations can be endless, but there are a few that we've really come to rely on over the years, and I'll link those down below in the description for you. But be sure to talk to local anglers and see what they've had success with on your local rivers. Every fishery is just a little bit different, so you never know what color combination can make the difference on the water. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If any of this was helpful, think about hitting that thumbs up button. It's a big help for us. If you'd like to support this channel, think about checking out thenorthernangler.com the next time you need materials or anything else related to fly fishing. If you're not ordering from us, at least try and support your local fly shop. I know they'll appreciate it. Get tying everyone. We hope to see you all very soon in the shop or out on the water.